PlayStation 2 has got a few games that can work in resolution 1080, and there are only 5 of them. Thousands of games for this platform often do not support resolution more than 480. For sure, on some small modern TV it looks not bad. But in order to achieve a really clear image, you have to use some hardware upscalers. And usually they cost from $100, but if we are talking about some serious equipment, such as Frame Master, it can cost you more than $400. But if you have a jailbroken PlayStation, you have this opportunity to do it without these expenses. PlayStation 2 is a very popular platform and there is a plenty of different homebrew software that has been made for it. And there is one unique program which is called GSM – Graphics Synthesizer Mode Selector. This program allows you to force video modes that are supported by the console, but they are not supported by the game. The video chip in your PlayStation, which is called Graphics Synthesizer, even supports resolution 1080. This program does not change the resolution of the graphics rendering, but can transfer the image in higher resolution to your TV, avoiding blurring the picture. In order to open this program, your PlayStation must be jailbroken. If you are afraid of destroying your console by soldering, you can buy a memory card with installed FreeMC boot bootloader, and this will be enough. But in case of 9th series, you've got only one option. You have to install a mode chip because of the specific change in the software which had been made by Sony to block the software jailbreak. But if you have a fat version of the console, then you can install a hard drive and open homebrew applications from it without any intervention in the console and without installing software on the memory card. It's so convenient. This JSM program can be launched in two ways. The first one is to open ELF Launcher and then open JSM from USB drive. Then select the video mode, save the settings and open the game. The second option is to use OPL Manager. This program is for launching backups of your games and it has a built-in JSM app. OPL can open the games from USB device and HDD as well. And how it works, you can see on the screen right now. I checked this on two consoles, on the 5th series with HDD and 9th series with installed chip. And I've got exactly the same result. So there is no need to share it. And as you can see, GSM makes the huge difference. And the difference is striking. Especially when the game officially supports resolution 480i. The edges of the objects are so clear now, fonts got an excellent sharpness. For example in some dark scenes like this one everything becomes more visible. Although the resolution of rendering by game engines remains unchanged, but upscaling of an image is also an operation that can take up hardware resources. Well, I checked that too, and in fact, I have nothing to show. The results between the standard launch and the launch with a resolution of 1080 were identical. At least the difference was not enough to influence the frame rate. But of course, not everything is so wonderful. Not all games are capable of launching with higher resolution video output modes. Most, but not all. You can easily find the compatibility list on the internet. Also, even compatible games sometimes issue bugs. For example, the 6 boot screen switches the video modes. The boot screen itself is not displayed correctly, and like interlaced image is displayed in progressive mode. However, such bugs were not noticed in the game process, so personally, I consider them insignificant. So, you can output a very good image from your PlayStation 2 via component cable. And if you don't already use a GSM Homebrew program on your PlayStation 2, then I highly recommend it to you. Okay guys, thanks for watching my video, I hope this video was helpful for you and also interesting. So I will see you next time, do not forget to click the subscribe button if you are not subscriber. So I will see you next time guys, thank you, bye bye.